House. When tornadoes um, form at beaches, um, they take out the sand. They take the sand? Uh -huh. And they take some of the water? Mm -hmm. Probably. And then they spit it out? And they spit it out. That's a little bit different because I don't know if you're watching the whole thing or anything like that. So I watch the whole thing. Um, but the 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 reality is, is technology is is part of the church nowadays. Uh, and as you know, Sharon has been handling most of that here. Randy's jumped in and helped with Pro Presenter back there. We got an electric piano. Uh, there's all kinds of things that are happening. But that is a great way for somebody to get involved in. Uh, the church is to help with the sound system, the technology, learn the live stream, learn the, um, the how to, how Sharon puts the words up here and does all the different things that we have going on. Uh, that's just a great, easy opportunity. You don't have to stand in front of anybody, but I will go ahead and tell you, and Randy can attest to this, when something messes up, everybody does turn around and look at you. So uh, you might get seen a little bit, but for the most part, it's behind the scenes. You don't have to uh, to perform for, for people, but uh, it's a great way to get involved in what's going on in the church. And so. uh, this morning, somebody stopped while I was mowing the grass at the church. He's like, oh, you got a different hat on today. Yeah, that's a small town church pastor. You uh, sometimes are the lawn maintenance, electrician, plumber, preacher. You do a little bit of everything. And so that's what I've been doing already. That's a little after lunch. I'm going to grab a bite to eat. Sharon's got to uh, get ready for Bible study. I'm getting ready for Bible study. And then that's what we'll do this afternoon. Daycare day. I'm going off to the store real quick to get breakfast. Sunroof's open. It's going to be a hot one today, I think. But we'll be good. There was uh, some scheduling differences, so Elijah's not going to the library today, which is okay. We'll go home and do Pop and Dee Dee. But it's been kind of a slow day, I guess. We took a little walk. We checked the mail. We went through some of the camping stuff and trying to get ready for our trip to Billings tomorrow and see exactly what I need to pick up. Tomorrow we go to Billings. Again, that's part of the flexibility we have um, with being a small church pastor um, and being able to uh, live like we do um, is we can go to Billings on a Wednesday if we need to. Mm -hmm. We don't get many here. We had more in North Carolina. North Carolina? Yeah. Like with beaches, like at beaches. Um, when, Sometimes there's when, some at the beach, but at Grandma's at, house. When tornadoes um, form at beaches, um, they take out the sand. They take the sand? Uh -huh. And they take some of the water? Mm -hmm. Probably. And then they spit it out? And they spit it out. Probably. Mm -hmm. So this starts trip <laughs> one to Billings this week? It's about 7.30. We have to get the oil changed in the car. And, uh... There was just too much with picking up Ken to try and do it on the same day. So we're going today to get the oil changed in the car. We have a couple other errands we need to run. And then we'll be home. So Billings day today. KJ's back there talking to Steve. Um, sometimes. There it is. Boys are ready to go. Trim a up. We made it to Billings. Lots to do today. We'll see how much we get done. Stop number one. We are going to get these knocked out as quick as we can. The uh, the three-hour drive to get here. Uh, you already did. 
already wears you out a little bit so by the time you get to Billings you you're ready to leave but it's just part of the part of the life we live um, there in Jordan um, we're gonna do what we can here uh, and then if we forget anything we'll pick it up Friday when we come back to get my dad but we wanted to get as many uh, errands done as we could uh, this trip so that we have a little bit more time so we decided to try burger dive it was good. What does that mean? What does the Summit Corral mean? We're home. <laughs> That's right. We're home in Jordan. It is 8.35 p.m. and we are driving back into town. That is a long day in Billings. But we got a lot done. So I'm glad for that. We're going to go home, unpack, unload the car, rest, and then tomorrow is clean the house day. Yay! But today we're up, getting ready to head out the door to go back to Billings to pick up my dad. We were there Wednesday, did a bunch of shopping, got all our errands done. And uh, we're also dropping off a gift. Um, there's a wedding of somebody very special to us, but we're not going to be able to make it to her wedding. So we're sending a gift with somebody else. Um, so... We're ready for an adventure. And by the way, it has rained now on and off for two days. So uh, that's really, really nice. Uh, but the forecast looks like it's going to rain on us most of the trip camping. So that looks fun. We made it back from Billings. The boys are wound from being in the car all day. Um, we unloaded. It is raining still and cold. The uh, thing I discovered about the boot is it gets muddy and you can't take it off when you come inside. So thankfully I had baby wipes in the car and I wiped it off with baby wipes so I don't get my carpet all muddy. <laughs> 